guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Welcome to your wall Pilates for shoulders to gain mobility and strength. You don't need any equipment for this class, just a wall. And we're going to be doing active rotational exercises called CARS today. This will help increase our end range mobility and get us really set up for not having tight and stiff shoulders and for maybe a more intense weightlifting or body weight workout after this. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's find some wall space. We're gonna be standing this entire class. You could use a mat underneath your feet if you'd like, but it's not necessary. So to set up, you're going to have your feet four or five inches forward of the wall so that you can lean your body weight back into the wall. So I'm just resting here, I'm in more of a supported position, but what we're really using the wall for is to feel where our back is and where our core is in space. So it's like a tactile cue, it's giving us a little bit of feedback. What we do not want to see here is our ribs push off the wall and spread, and I can put my hands between my back and the wall. So I want you to bring your front ribs back into the wall, embrace your abs for this whole series. Now I know this is a shoulder workout, but that's what's really important about getting the shoulder mobility is that we're not borrowing from the spine to get the motion. We're doing it from the shoulder. So with that being said, we're leaning back, our shoulders are relaxed down, your ribs are drawing together and pressing back into the wall. You can also use your hand as a tactile cue to feel where things are at in space. So we're gonna start this off with our right arm. Your palm is facing in, you're reaching down to make sure this shoulder stays down. And then we're gonna to start to guide that arm all the way up to the ceiling by the ear. You're gonna pause here for a second. So let's see, have the ribs left the wall? If so, let's bring them back. And has the shoulder elevated? If so, we need to bring that down. Okay, so we've got a gap here between the neck and the wall. Now here, we're gonna turn your palm out as far as you can so that your pinky is towards the wall and your thumb is forward and then start to lower the, uh, the arm all the way back down. At the bottom, the palm is in, the shoulder is down. We're gonna reach up as we brace our ribs back into the wall. Go up, up, up with that arm, really lock out the elbow and firm your tricep. Then spin your palm out and as much as possible and start to lower all the way back down. Palm facing the wall, pinkies up. Palm is in. We reach up, brace the abs. What I'm not wanting to see here is this. If this is happening, then go a little wider until you can fully extend through that elbow. Then rotate that palm as much as you can with the palm going away from you and you keep trying to turn, 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 turn that arm as we guide it back down. You should feel this in the shoulder, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna inhale as we go up locking that core in on the exhale at the top, reaching through the fingertips and guiding that shoulder down. Then rotate the palm all the way around and take the arm all the way back down. Let's go for one more here. So we're gonna go all the way up, lengthen, lengthen through that arm. Don't rush this part. Maybe the thumb is moving back towards the wall, pinkies forward. Then turn the palm all the way out. Guide the palm all the way back down, and we pause. So we're gonna reverse this on the same arm. So from the bottom, you're gonna turn your pinky forward. This is internal rotation of the shoulder. Shoulders anchored, ribs are connected. We're gonna go up the wall, still spinning that pinky forward, so try not to lose that rotation. Pinky forward, pinky forward, pinky forward, shoulder dropping. Then at the top, you're gonna rotate the palm in, reaching up, bracing the ribs back to the wall. And we lower it down at the bottom. Turn your pinky forward, elbow forward. Start to lift the arm up the wall. Bracing through your midsection, anchoring through that right shoulder. Woo, I really feel that. And then rotating the palm in, at the top and guiding it down. Okay, so pinky forward, 
Shoulders actively anchored. What we're using here is your lat muscle. This muscle helps keep the shoulder from elevating. So this isn't the exercise here, right? This has to stay dropping down as we move through it. Okay, better to do these slower and make it more intense for yourself. Really create that resistance in the body by connecting your ribs, your lat, your shoulders, spinning that pinky forward until that last moment. Palm rotates in, we take it down. We're gonna go two more in this direction. So make sure you haven't ended up in a back bend here. You should feel that mid back in the wall. Your head should be pressing back into the wall and your chin should be level with the floor. Okay, last one. Pinky rotates forward. Shoulders pull down. Turn, 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 turn that arm in. Lift as high as we can. And then rotate the palm in so the thumb is towards the wall. Pull the lat down as we reach overhead, locking out that elbow. And then we take it all the way around. Guys, that is way harder than it looks. Okay, so let's take it over to the left. So take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, you're drawing the front ribs together and pressing them into the back of your shirt or your sports bra. Reach the left arm down. So you can see how this muscle drops down and is active from underneath the arm. With the palm facing and we're gonna go up towards the ceiling. Okay, so the palm is in and your upper arm is rotating forward. We don't wanna turn the palm to the wall behind us. We just want it to face in and we wanna get the rotation from the top of the shoulder. So our left shoulder blade is spreading, not squeezing to the back. Then you're gonna rotate your palm as far out as you can so that the pinky is towards the ceiling and the thumb is towards the ground. And we come all the way back around. Palm turns in, anchor, ribs and shoulder, we reach up, lock the elbow out, reach through the fingertips. Remember, if the elbow is bent, I want you to go wider, straighten your arm, that's your first goal, and then it's to get it higher. Rotate your palm out and then keep turning, 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 and we take it all the way down and around. Palm in, we reach up. Now hold at the top. This is where I want you to work the actions. So arm bone into the socket, wrap the upper arm forward and pull the chest back into the wall behind us. Then rotating the palm out, we circle it around. Okay, we're gonna go for three more in this direction. For three. You may notice a difference from one side to the other on your range of motion, your mobility. So feel free to do something a little bit different from one side to the other so that you can get the maximum out of the exercise. It doesn't have to look the same because most likely one shoulder is tighter um, or dealing with some other alignment issue than the other one. Okay, last two. One more. Okay, so we're going to reverse this now for six. So palm is in at the bottom, find the lap, pull the shoulder down actively. Spin your pinky, your elbow, your tricep forward. Then go out to the side as you start to lift the arm up without elevating the shoulder. So your upper back is actively keeping that shoulder from lifting. I'm going as high as I can, and then I'm gonna to start to rotate my palm forward and then back towards the side of my head as I reach overhead, firm and lock out the arm, and we draw it down. Pinky in, so go for it. Turn it in as much as possible. Reach the arm away from you as you lift it up and pull your shoulders down. Go up, 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 up as that shoulder drops, rotating the palm in, reaching up and circling around. Good, rotating elbow forward, pinky forward. 
we reach out. Good, I'm really watching this. You can even put your hand here to help keep your mind focused on not letting that shoulder elevate. It's not easy. Okay, we're gonna do three more. Good, check on the rib cage. That is such an intense active stretch for the shoulders. Both shoulders melting down. Really reset all those cues each time. These are really nuanced, hard things to maintain. Most likely the shoulders have started to release or elevate at some point. So you just have to touch base each repetition. Make sure you're in the right alignment. So last time, shoulders, ribs, rotate the pinky forward. Actively keeping pressure of that shoulder blade dropping down the wall. I feel this in my bicep. Woo! Palm rotates in, we reach up, and we take it all the way down. Okay, we're gonna give the left arm a break and go to the right. So your right arm is gonna be in a fist, 90 degree bend. Your arm does not have to touch the wall. I want it more in line with the shoulder. We're using the wall to make sure that the ribs aren't popping off, right? I can't put my hand behind my ribs, they touch the wall. So your goal here is to keep this upper arm at about shoulder height the whole time. So where I have it right now, I don't want it to move. My shoulders are pressed down, my ribs are drawing back into the wall. Without my upper arm moving, just the lower arm, I'm gonna see if I can bring my upper, my lower arm all the way back to the wall behind me without moving that upper arm and then I'm going to rotate all the way the other direction so the lower arm goes down. Down, 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 without the elbow dropping. Woo! Okay, so I'm applying a lot of internal pressure. As you can see, you might notice I'm like shaking, so I'm really trying to push through the movement. Good, squeeze your bicep and tricep to help stabilize that upper arm. This is the hard one for me. Okay, so what's happening when the lower arm lifts is this is external rotation. And then when the lower arm goes down, this is internally rotating the arm in the shoulder socket. Woo! Hard to keep that elbow up. Okay, we're gonna go for three more. Okay, so where are the ribs, your chest, your upper back should be touching the wall. Shoulders actively pulling down. If you have a hard time with that, use your hand to help your mind connect with where those shoulders are staying. Or stand in front of a mirror as you do this. Okay, last one. Woo. Woo. Okay, so give that arm a moment. We're going to do the other arm. So take a big breath in. Exhale, reconnect those upper abdominal muscles, pulling them back into the wall, making a fist with the left hand. Elbow is at shoulder height, but we're not behind the shoulder. So I'm slightly in front of the shoulder and I'm sliding my left side of my upper back down the wall. I'm going to bring that lower arm as far back as I can without dropping the elbow. And then I'm gonna bring it as far down and fingernails towards the wall as I can. So I'm gonna lift up, staying actively connected in the core and the shoulder blades. And I'm gonna say that over and over again, really drilling it into your mind because that's the important part. If you're letting things move around, then you're really not getting the mobility in the shoulder. We're borrowing from other areas of the body and that's not what this class is about, right? We're trying to get the mobility in the shoulders. Woo! I really feel this one on the way down. I think woo is my new word for this class. <laughs> Good, okay, we're gonna go for three more. Shoulders down. Back of the hand to the wall at the top, if you can, and then fingernails towards the wall at the bottom, if you can. Good, last two. Good, one more. Wow, okay. 
let that go. Okay, come off the wall, give it a little movement. Those arms should feel warm, like I'm actually breaking a sweat. So same position, guys. We're gonna go for both arms now at the same time. So your shoulders are down and the ribs are on the wall. I'm leaning my body weight back into the wall. So we're going to go for a arm opener. Like a, think of like a book, like opening and closing. I do not care if your arms touch the wall. Maybe that happens, that's great. I care that you don't go into a back bend and look like this. Okay, so your tailbone's gently drawing down and your ribs, this part of your back, is touching the wall. Okay, so feet slightly forward. We have a goal post shape in the arms. If your shoulders elevate a lot here, then lower the elbows, okay? If you can bring them to about shoulder height, that's great. Lock the ribs in. We're gonna close the arms and here's where the challenge comes in. When we open the arms, work from not moving your core. So don't let those ribs splay apart. Shoulders drop down, actively use your lats as we open the arms. When your arms go back, I want you to see that your fingers are not in front of your elbows. Your fingers are stacked over the elbows. So don't lead with your elbow, lead more with the back of your hand. We're gonna do a couple more here. Last two. Okay, last one. Okay, this is what we're going for now. Maybe the upper arm touches the wall, maybe not. We're going to double up what we had done earlier where we rotate the palm down and then we rotate the hand back. For me, having the elbow on the wall I think is too much. So I'm gonna keep my shoulders down and my ribs back. Elbows are slightly off the wall. Upper arm not moving. And I'm really paying attention on keeping my shoulder blades actively pulling towards my lower back. Okay, we're gonna go for two more of these. This is when mobility becomes like a body weight strength burner. My shoulders are on fire. <laughs> Last one. Okay, rest the arms for a second. So this is our last move. Your goal when we do our arm slides overhead is to have straight arms. So when I see this, this is not creating length or a stretch for your body. So let's start at a T position and then you slowly graduate only to the point that your arm is fully straight when you extend the arm out. Okay, so we're in a slight goal post. You have the shoulder positioning, you have the ribs, you should know this by now. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms out to a T. Palms face forward, thumbs are up. It's okay if the arms don't touch the wall, but your ribs must be pulled back into the wall. Your triceps and your biceps are firmed here, so think of squeezing the muscle to the bone. So there's none of this. It's an active reach apart, and then we bend it back in. So we're gonna do two more at this level. And then we're gonna continue to progress and you're gonna stay at the level that's right for your body. Bend, reach out of the body. Okay, now we're gonna go about four inches higher. So we bend and we're gonna reach it a little bit higher of a diagonal. Firm your triceps, slide your lats down. Bend, reach. Okay, one more. We're gonna do three at each level. Try to go a little bit higher after each three. Okay, we're gonna take this more like a wide V overhead. Reach, 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 reach. The ribs are gonna start to get a lot more challenged here. Firm your triceps and stretch through the arms. Bend, exhale, reach. Nice work, guys. Bend, reach. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because I'm able to maintain a straight arm overhead. So more narrow of a V. Reach, 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 reach. So here, if your arms are bent, I need you to reach through the arms and try to touch the ceiling. Pull your mid back to the wall. Inhale, bend. Exhale, reach. What are the tops of your shoulders doing? They better not be up here. 
They better be actively working down. Okay, I'm gonna go for another round a little bit more narrow. So I'm getting really close by the ears, stretching through the elbow. Breathe in, breathe out as you go up. Okay, last round, the palms are gonna turn in. So I'm gonna bend, reaching narrow overhead, palms in, straighten your arms. So it's not this, full extension, reach up the wall. Bend, two more. Reach up the wall at the fingertips, pull down through your shoulders and lats. Last one, we're gonna hold it for a second. Reach up, reach, 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 reach. See if you can move your arms back in space without popping the ribs. Rotate and firm those triceps. Woo! <laughs> and take it down. Oh my gosh, guys. My shoulders are on fire. Okay, so a lot of that could have felt like a little bit of extension. So this move, these movements we, did, we just did with the wall are also super awesome for your posture. We did a lot of opening up. So I just wanna do one short stretch here for the shoulder blades because we really opened the front of the chest. Let's now open the back of those shoulders. So interlacing the fingers, abdominals are tight. You can do this off the wall. You're gonna tuck your hips, push your hands forward and pull your chest into your upper back. So we are spreading the shoulder blades together, not squeezing to them together, but moving them apart. Good, and then we're gonna inhale, lift the arms up. Whoa, feeling into that shoulder mobility we created today. And then exhale, let it go. Awesome work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this wall Pilates for shoulders, mobility, and strength. I know we got a little bit of a body weight burner there. So I would recommend doing this class a couple times a week, especially if you're having stiffness or pain in your shoulders, if you sit a lot, if you look down a lot, this is really going to mobilize and open things up for you. And uh, you'll, I'm sure you'll see progress, being able to go further into the exercise each time. So please hit that subscribe button below. I would love to see you on another Pilates On Demand class. My name's Lindsay. Let me hear some thoughts of what you thought of this in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.